Hey everyone, how's it going? Oh, it's our bi-weekly Yu-Gi-Oh! night here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destin Duel. Um, this is going to be a whole lot of fun, um, especially because we introduced our new rules where after a duel I can use the code to bring in a card into the game if I have it in real life, and I have one that I definitely want. Um, but let's see. Let's start out with something not too crazy. I do want to try to fight at least one ghoul today, because we've defeated two thus far. Let's try to get Weevil. We'll get five wins on Weevil. Oh, no. We're in the alley. I'm not the same duelist you fought before. My insect deck is even more powerful. Be gone from here. Guys, we are right into it. We are right into it. Um, because this guy is a ghoul. He is very tough. Sometimes when you show up in like the alley area, the ghoul will just show up. My name is Odeon. By order of Master Merrick, you shall relinquish your rare cards to me. I sure hope not, gang. And what's funny is the card that I was going to hack in would be great against this guy. Ooh, this music. Oh, that is wonderful. Okay, so this is Odeon. I'm very scared um, because we do have a card in our deck that can maybe help against him. But the thing about Odeon is that he loves, and I mean, whew, guys, I mean loves to use trap cards. Um, I'm just going to do that for now. Because you'll see. Well, he's got his Slate Warrior first, which I'm actually... I'm going to wait to destroy. Um, <laughs> so calm. Okay, he only set one trap card down. Odeon loves to set multiple trap cards. Um, Giant True Nade could maybe come in handy later as well. Um, all right, we don't have anything to really deal with him right now. Yes, I'll go ahead and do my Mirror Force. I was hoping he would put another card in attack mode so we could kind of get a two for one on him there. Um, okay, not looking amazing. Um, we'll go ahead and do this. And that puts all of the magic and trap cards back into our hands. Brody, summon the power of Ziggy for us tonight, because this is a tough duel. Okay, Mask of Darkness lets him get a trap card back that he has already played, but lucky for us, he has not played a trap card yet. So he could not use the... Uh... All right. Um, sometimes when you play him, it's literally like no monsters, five trap cards. Um, he really, really, really likes to use trap cards. Um, Ziggy. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I am glad we have our giant soldier here. At least it's like some kind of line of defense. Um, my guess is that that could be a Mask of Darkness as well. Um, ooh, if it is, this could be beautiful. Let me try this. Oh, it's a cyber jar. I actually forget what this does. Okay. I need to try to remember. Destroy all monsters on the field. Both players then pick up, not draw, five cards from the top of their decks and show the cards to each other. I hate this card, and I'm very, very, very happy to be able to get rid of it in favor of Summon Skull. Now, odds are, yeah, that trap card was really bad. Oh, guys. Um, I have a card in my deck that negates the effects of all trap cards on the field. Which would be great to draw, especially because I have nothing that I can play right now. But, like I said, 
he doesn't have a ton of monster cards in his deck. He's really just got, like I said, mostly trap cards. Um, see, there's all five. He's got all five slots filled now. Okay, we can play the Black Luster Soldier right now. I mean, there's no way he's going to be safe. Um, so what I might do is just lay this face down for now and make some room in my hand. Um, okay. Yummy. We're just, we're just hanging out here, gang. And again, he can't play anything because he probably doesn't have any monsters. Okay, Monster Reborn, that's good. All right, I'm going to give Black Luster Ritual a try. Especially considering... Yep, he's got a magic jar. Dang it. Since I had Monster Reborn there, I'm actually going to set Yami face down. Because if you have too many cards in your hand, you could... You might have to discard them. This, I am actually really happy that we ran into him because this here, this is tension immediately. And I am just not drawing any monsters I can play because, ugh, freaking Force Raider. Okay. Oh, I forget what this does. No. Yes, I'll do Karibo. Okay. I think if he attacks any of my... If he attacks me directly, um, it does 500 life points of damage. I'm actually going to use my Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy that. Because that could... Excuse me. Or I could just destroy one of the cards I know. I'll just destroy that. Alright. Alright, we're finally in a position where maybe we can do something. Don't have a magic jammer, please. Great. Um, so let's see what I can do. Trap hole. It's gone. And there are times where you just kind of got to... You gotta fight through it. I'm fine with him negating this trap card, though. Oh my goodness. Because backup soldier is not, like, you know, terribly consequential. Um, spellbinding circle will do. Because this is, again, so interesting, because we're really kind of playing the waiting game right now. Um, I really need to draw the card that negates trap cards. I need to draw more monster cards that I can play. Um, it's just a lot. Yeah, and every now and then he has like a good, excuse me, four-star monster that he can play and attack me with. Um, uh, let's see, is a Ziggy mode a tier one sub? I think Ziggy is tier one, I don't remember. Okay, here is Royal Decree. As long as this card remains face up on the field, the effects of all trap cards except this one are deactivated. So that could come in super duper mega handy. Um, now we just need to... All right, let's just chill for now, we'll see. Great. So now... <laughs> oh, this is tough. I was really hoping I could discard my Blue Eyes White Dragon um, with the Black Luster Ritual so I could re-summon it. Okay, so he's got a summon skull. And this is very bad. Huh? 
So I need a way to destroy this thing. Set you in defense mode. The horrible irony now is that I have my Royal Decree up, which means I can't use my Negate attack. Um, but... Okay, this is fine, because Giant Rat is going to let me special summon another monster to the field. Absolutely. And any of these are fine, because now I can... Oh my goodness. Okay, that's fine. Um, or maybe not. <laughs> Gaga rat. <laughs> oh, God, this is killing me. All right, is there anything in the graveyards? Okay, he has a summon skull. That's good. I actually didn't realize that he had a summon skull in the graveyard. Oh, so do I. Trenton. Okay. So let's try this. Okay. I got a strat here, guys. I'm gonna use my... Oops. Okay, that won't work, baby. Won't work! I'm gonna use my Summon Skull to destroy his. And I'll play the Mechanical Chaser as well. Guys, this is the card that we needed, the Royal Decree. Because that would have destroyed my Summon Skull. But since all trap cards are negated, nope. The thing is, he can still use them, so they're still disappearing, as you can see. Wonderful. All right. So the tides have turned a little bit here. Let's see if we can keep it up. Mm. Wow. So it costs 500 life points for him to keep Fairy Box active here on the field. But since it's being negated by my trap card, all it is doing is costing him life points, which is so great. Um, okay. So at this point, guys, we're looking all right. That would destroy all my monsters on the field, but again, it's negated. Again. We're sitting pretty. Dark Witch, and then Mechanical Chaser. That was tense, folks. That was tense. I'm very, very happy about that. Oh, Garg! I must not fall! I must, must protect Master, must protect Master Merrick! So that is now three ghouls down, and we got some great new cards. We got ourselves a Torrential Tribute. This is basically the trap version of a Dark Hole. Extremely good. Um, and we have the Thousand Dragon. Ooh, I love this artwork! Um, this is a very, uh key Joey Wheeler card in the original anime, the original like season one, um, using the time wizard with his baby dragon to make it into the old ancient thousand dragon. So good. Um, okay, so cool. That's great. And uh, one thing I wanted to show, I have my uh, Seto Kaiba chest over here. This is the card that I want to hack in now. This is a special artwork of it. It is the Jinzo, as you can see. So, so cool. And what this card does is it negates the effects of all trap cards on the field. So this would have been awesome <laughs> in the duel we just had. But uh, what are you going to do? We're going to bring it in now. Oh, excuse me. All right, I'm notoriously slow at doing this. I like can't copy anything for anything. Seven, seven, I also can't read. These are so hard to read. Five, okay. And... Oopsie. Nope, there we go. 
There's Jinzo, baby. Oh, yes. Um, Jinzo is one of the great cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. It is... Uh, honestly, it's pretty broken. As long as this card remains face up on the field, all trap cards cannot be activated. Um, so that's really sick, and we are immediately going to put that in our deck. Um, oops. All right. Um, so there's probably something I want to get rid of. I could get rid of Royal Decree, um, because Jinzo kind of takes its place. Um, which could be nice. Can we have our Buster Blader there? You know what? I'll just add Jinzo. I won't take anything out for now. Oops, that's not it. There we go, baby. There we go, baby. That is gorgeous. Okay, so I really wanted to fight a ghoul tonight, and we were able to do that. So now let's just have a nice, regular old duel against this Shizu. She is actually Merrick's sister, I believe, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. So that is a, uh, a big deal. And she's kind of like an honorable keeper of the Millennium items, as I understand it, while Merrick is the opposite of that. Um, oh, her music. Hmm, epic. All right, let's roll. Um, oh, all right, so that was kind of tense. Um, how are we doing? <laughs> um, it's been a pretty decent day for me today. It's kind of weird. Um, let's see. If I chat mod you, I'll give a tyrant power. <laughs> I get it. Um, ooh, I actually do want to do that because this will negate that magic card. Well, there we go. You ain't using that, honey. Uh, all right, but I will probably get rid of it because I just don't want to pay the life points. That's fine. Um, this makes it so I can't play things in uh, face down, I believe. So let's see what I can do with the Fairy of the Fountain. Um, okay, that's great. That is great. Ishizu is, is kind of like a real like middle-tier opponent. I remember that she was the first opponent that we dueled um, in our first episode. And I was like very worried about it. But, uh, we were fine. Um. Yeah, we're drawing things a lot more quickly. Oh, okay. I'm glad it puts that in an attack mode, because we can still destroy it pretty easily. Lovely. Oops. <laughs> Brody, thanks for being here. Yeah, I do forget how she summons the soul of purity and light. I know that's a very it has to do what she did has to do with what she did over there. So here, you can special summon this card by removing two light monsters from your graveyard. Wow. Um, as long as this card remains on the field, the attack of all your opponent's monsters are decreased by 300 points during their battle phase. That is not good for me. Um, I hate that a lot, actually. Um, but that's okay. Because we can use Summon Skull. Yeah. We'll still be powerful enough to get over it. <laughs> I see a winged Ziggy in the chat. That is amazing. Um, so Summon Skull's attack is weakened, but it's still enough to destroy our soul of purity and light here. So now our monsters are no longer hindered. Alright, so that's great. 
Glad we had that in our back pocket already. Oh uh, no, that's alright. So far we've had a really nice draw here. Um, a lot of four stars we can play and a lot and just like the nice summon skull to get us over the soul of purity and light we're we're sitting pretty we could destroy that trap card with mystical space typhoon but it's just not hurting us right now um there might be something else later that we want to get rid of there we go And I actually like that he uh, that she couldn't play that in, uh, face down because it just lets us see what it is. All right, but this will this will do it for her. Shizu's just about out of here. Right, let's get this going. Might as well play it. And there we go. All right, I'm going to look through here to see if there's any other cards I want to bring in. Um, <laughs> there are a few that are just kind of like crazy ones that I don't think are going to be tremendously beneficial for us. Um, but I'll set some off to the side. Ooh, maybe that one. Do, 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 do. I won't worry about it too much. Let me look at my little uh, cheat sheet here. Um, all right, that Dark Magician pack, we're still looking for the Raigeki. Um, ooh, we have Exodia and Barrel Dragon. How neat. Let's let's go for the Barrel Dragon. Um, all right. Um, oh, Heavy Storm. This is like a magic and trap version of the Dark Hole. <laughs> You have a lot of cards that are kind of like versions that they just do different versions of the same thing. Destroys all magic and trap cards on the field. So that card could actually really come in handy. Um, yeah, that's not great. Um, but Heavy Storm could be very good. Um, let's see. Let's get through some of these passengers because I really want to fight another ghoul today. Um, okay, we have five wins against Truesdale. There we go. We got our Duelist Weekly. Lovely. Ah, Sword of Dark Destruction. A dark monster uh, equipped with this card increases attack by 400 and decreases defense by 200. I think this was in... Sword of Dark Destruction was in one of the classic um, theme decks. Yugi or Kaiba. I'm almost positive. Um... Let's give Truesdale a match. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that could be good. All right. Oh, hold on. I gotta mark our record. So we won two duels to start our stream. So we are now 41 and 9. Um, one of the, uh, we're gonna have to avenge one of those losses to Kaiba or Yugi here. Um, love that we have Mirror Force. We'll just get the crazy fish out there. Uh, Brody, hold on, let me check. I'm pretty sure that is mine. Do, 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 do. It is indeed mine, Brody. Thank you. Um, oh, and that's actually funny that you say that, because I actually have, like, a little Silver Cave merch that you can get from the... from my spring store, if you want. Okay, Raigeki is annoying. Uh, yeah, this isn't going to be a huge deal, though. Because we got that Dunamis Dark Witch. Oh, that merch is awesome! Oh, thank you! Appreciate that. Oh, we got two. Lovely. Mm 
Uh, okay, so I think he played his two good magic and trap cards immediately. So now I'm just gonna use my mirror force because this is annoying me. Lovely. Okay, great. I did not want to see another one. Um, but yeah, this merch is actually cool because there's like a design on the back that has like some of my album artwork kind of like put together. Yeah, I think it's cool. Um, okay. <laughs> you thought Tech did it? <laughs> hey, that would have been really nice of him. It wouldn't have surprised me. He's been super kind in this entire process. But no, I made those. Um, I didn't design everything. Like what I just showed you on the back of my shirt here, I had someone else design because I am not that good of an artist. Um, he might have a giant soldier of stone. I don't think I would love to see one. Okay, great. Just a very horrible card, and that is no big deal. Do do. I gotta see what's in that Exodia pack, um, ooh, or the Red Eyes pack. I'll look into that as well. He already played his Raigeki, so Summon Skull should be safe in theory. Great. I was playing it extra safe there. Um, let's just do this. Because this is going to help us win this turn, I believe. Lovely. So Summon Skull can get over this even if it's a giant soldier, and it's not. And both of our Dark Witches combined. Oops. That'll do it, kids. Alright. So we are now 42 and 9. So we have defeated Truesdale. Um, in this here Red Eyes pack, there are a couple cards that I uh, think could be very nice. Um, so we're just gonna go for that. Okay, not really what we wanted. We got that Pot of Greed like last time. Um, Cause I believe out of the Red Eyes pack, we can get Maneater Bug. Um, I can spend my points to get tech out of diet? <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, hold on. So we're gonna add another card, and right here I have Curse of Dragon. This is a classic Yugi card, and I actually wanna put it in because it's not like particularly good, but having it lets me do one of my favorite summons, not summons, um, one of my favorite fusions, rather, in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! So let's do that. And it's not a card that is, like, <laughs> terribly broken. Ooh, one thing I do need to do is... And it's just a 2,000 attack, 5-star monster. It's not terrible. Um, but I do need to add our Torrential Tribute. That'll be very important. And that does actually... Oh, wait, what do we have in the side deck here? Celtic Guardian, you can go to the trunk. Um, Monster's Bird, you can go to the trunk. Um, because we need... We can probably go ahead and put Royal Decree in the side deck because we have Jinzo in here now. Um, oh, <laughs> get him out of debt. Okay. Um, I will look into how to do that. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. So let's see if we 
one thing I want to do is kind of mine that flavor text again um, that we'll get for to see if there are any ghouls around. Um, I do want to fight Yuki or Kaiba, maybe even Joey. Ah, uh, yes, this is the Challenge Cup. You'll have to find if you wish to participate. That's right, so let's use your duelist intuition and win your way to the top. I actually have never known how to find that. I'm sure if I Googled it right now, I could figure it out, but uh, I'm not that worried about it. I'm more just worried about beating the game and having a nice time. You know? You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, Spirit of the Winds. Uh, none of those are too great, and that's fine. All right, I might... What's our record against Joey? We are one and three against Joey. And I don't know about you, but I find that to be just horrific. I hate it very much. Um, hmm. And I have a couple good options here of cards that we can bring in. Okay, let's do this. Let's give Joey a try. Because at some point we gotta even that record against Joey. That is just that is just abysmal. Alright. Um having that new torrential tribute should be really nice. Um, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, I have a plan, because he's probably going to have, probably going to have something that can knock out, yes, that will knock out my Rocket Warrior. Um, which is not a huge deal. I was really kind of hoping to coax it out. Um, and basically trade 600 life points for what is hopefully a direct attack on him. He does have a trap card, though. Alright, what can I get here? Lovely. That change of heart could be great. Um... Can this attack me directly? I don't think it can. Yes, it cannot attack me directly. Um, I might wait. Uh, no. I'll just destroy it. There we go. And I have two Dark Witches, so I'm not too worried about using up my giant True Nade right now. Wow, you are rich, Brody. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. Is this my trap card? No, that's my magic card. Yeah. So that's sad, but I do have another Dark Witch there. Oh, I'm not sure if I played that quite as well as I could have. We'll see what we can do. Um, we do have a negate attack. And I believe that negates his entire battle phase, so if he has two cards like he has right there, um, I should be able to negate everything with negate attack. Yes, and it does negate both monsters, which is really nice. Um, okay. And 1800 is a tie with his gear free, but I can destroy his alligator sword. Um, <laughs> you can destroy me at Goose Goose Duck? You probably can. I haven't played Goose Goose Duck in a while. I always call it a Duck Duck Goose. You know what? I'll wait. 
Oh my goodness. Take another 1800 to the face, which I hate. Gosh dang it, man. I do have Monster Reborn, which is nice. I'm gonna get rid of Karibo for now. Oh, I have to discard two cards. Do, 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 do. Ah, <laughs> oh, Brody, I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, you are younger than me. You are probably faster. I'm just not sure what to do. All right, is this gonna be just enough to destroy me? Uh, it absolutely will. We're down to one and four against Joey. He just, it's just, he's just too freaking good, man. Oh, I hate that. All right, what does this say? Tomorrow's a big day. You plan to participate in a challenge cup. Join us in the tournament area. I wish I knew what you were talking about, my guy. Um, All right, we have a losing record against Seto as well. Um, I'm not sure... They are in the same area here, but Weevil is also between them. Okay, no. Mokuba still steps in, so we are going to have a quick little duel against Mokuba. And that's okay. I could use a victory after that. Um, all right. And he's going to attack right into that giant soldier. Which is a okay. Um, I know I'll be a o a o okay. I had a kid at school who would play that song all the time, or who would want to play that song all the time. He would ask me. Um, yeah, and this guy, this guy is a joke, man. He's just a laugh riot, is Mokuba. Could get blue eyes out. I still can't believe he pulled that blue eyes ultimate dragon. I will never forgive him for that. I was, oh my gosh, time wizard! Okay, good. It failed. <laughs> that was hilarious. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's a okay. Because since the time wizard failed, we are clear to just uh, go ahead and finish him off. All right, this is actually really funny, though. All right, so we can get rid of him. I, I want to try this Red Eyes pack, because I know there's something good in here that we want. I mean, hey, this is the Red Eyes Black Dragon. This is a legendary card right here. Talk about legendary Joey Wheeler cards. This was at the front of his theme deck. Oh, so great. Love this card. It's not very good. <laughs> It's two tributes for 2400 attack, which isn't great, but just so iconic. Such a cool design. Love red eyes. Um, do, 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 do. Um, okay, but uh, it was funny that that happened because I actually found a copy of Time Wizard right here. So I'm going to give us a Time Wizard. Uh, this could be a really interesting lever to pull if we ever find ourselves in a pinch. Um, let's see. Six, two, five, two. Ah. Let's do it. There's Time Wizard. I'm going to put that right in our deck because... In case you missed it, Time Wizard. 
Toss a coin and call heads or tails. If you call it right, your opponent's monsters on the field are destroyed. If you call it wrong, your own monsters on the field are destroyed. And you lose life points equal to half the total attack of the destroyed monsters. It can be used only during your own turn once per turn. So it's really just like you flip a coin and if you hit it, it's great. If you don't, you're dead. <laughs> and Joey really used the power of plot armor to get out of a lot of jams with the Time Wizard. Um, I actually want to use the name here because it's going to be right toward the bottom. Definitely want to put this in the main deck. Time Wizard is just too iconic. Um, uh, Brody, I don't even know what you're talking about, homie. <laughs> Brody, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, all right, I want to see if we can fight another do another ghoul. I mean, we'll definitely fight another. Here we go. This is an urgent announcement for all participating duelists. Okay, so again, so far, we have defeated three of the ghouls. There are two more that we gotta do. So we should be able to get one more tonight, which will be great. <laughs> you do have the Gen Z lingo, Brody. Um, all right, so let's see, is this gonna be it? Okay, this should be it, let's see who it is. Leave it. I will have rare card. So this character is very, very scary. They're being mind controlled. You can tell with the eye on their forehead. Um, they're called strings. And this is actually the duelist that in Duelist Kingdom has Slifer the Sky Dragon and uses a really crazy combo against Yugi. And all seems lost, but Yugi pulls it out in the end. <laughs> Oh, are you saying he looks like One Punch? He kind of does. He kind of does look like One Punch Man. Um, all right, so Strings likes to employ some kind of weird strategies. Um, I might take Buster Blader out of our deck. I feel like I need one more attacking four star. Um, okay, so I have Torrential Tribute, Spellbinding Circle. We'll just do that for now. Because hopefully he plays a monster. Yes. And we gonna destroy that. Mmm. Oh, so tasty. I love that. Um. Alright, and that gives Mechanical Chaser a free shot, baby. Yeah, as I recall, of all the ghouls, um, Strings isn't one of the better ones. Um, I think really the best one is Odeon, so I'm actually pretty happy that we were able to defeat him. Um, and I hate that he has a Force Raider, because that is just 50 attack points higher than my Mechanical Chaser, which is very annoying. Um, but that's okay, because we are sitting pretty. We're, we're, doing, we're doing great. Um, I'll do that, and we're gonna chill. Because I want to try to get Buster Blader out on the field here to destroy that Force Raider. Ah, oh, well, I'll just do this. <laughs> Make it cry, let it swim. That reminds me, uh, you ever see the Emperor's New Groove? Um, where they have the... Uh, crazy names for the dishes. They're, they're at like the restaurant Kronk and Yzma are. It's hard to explain. Watch The Emperor's New Groove. It's a Disney classic, folks. Um, okay, this is actually better. <laughs> because Beast of Gilfer is just a nice one tribute that can get over Morse Raider. Alright, so we're sitting pretty there. Having those two traps instantly at the beginning were very useful. Um, all right. Oh, and we have Karibo and Multiply should we need it. That's nice. Um, so let's check this out. Jam Breeding Machine. This is something he really likes to do. 
Um, and this has something to do with his strategy in the anime, because each stand by phase, you special summon one slime token in face up attack position. Excuse me. To your side of the field. As long as this card remains face up on the field, you cannot summon any other monster. So really, it just kind of summons fodder on his side of the field, so it's hard to make his side of the field clear, but it puts them in attack mode, so they're just really easy to just kill and not really worry about. Um, so in the real game, the jam breeding machine is not very useful. In the anime, it had a completely different ability that was just like broken and was really backing Yugi into a corner. But here, we're, we're chilling, baby. We're chilling. Because there it is. There's that slime token that I was talking about. And if you look, it's literally just like a little coin. It's not a card, it says. And it can't really, it's just in attack mode, so we can just kill it. And I'm like, why even have it, you know? We'll get the crawling dragon out of here. Let's see here. A Magician of Faith. That is fine. He has not used any other magic cards yet. And as you can see, that is just a free kill. And we'll get it next turn, too. Oh, I should have flipped Giant Soldier. We would end it this turn. Let's see. He's got another one, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna summon Buster Blader, just for the giggles. Haha. -ha. And now we can just destroy that slime token. And there we go. It had something to do with his strategy in the anime that made it way better. Because here, as you can see, it really hurt him more than it helped him. But I'm not complaining, because that is another ghoul down. No, no good, lost. And we get our rare pack of cards. We got Black Luster Soldier. There's Exodia again. I think there's only like a very like short list of cards that you can get. Um, here's Panther Warrior. That's a Joey card. Um, it's nice that it's four stars, but you have to tribute monsters, which we hate. We really don't like that at all. But I have another card here that I wanna that I wanna bring in. Let's see. This is called the Axe of Despair, and it is an equipped magic card. And what it does is that it gives 1,000 extra attack to the monster that you equip it with, which is crazy useful, if you ask me. Um, it's probably too powerful, but hey, you know? I gotta make sure we beat the game. And like I said, we made this rule <laughs> in our last Yu-Gi-Oh! stream. If I have it in real life, we can bring it in. I'm not trying to get just like all the codes off the internet, because that feels kind of cheap. But, you know. There it is, Axe of Despair, baby. As you can see, increases his attack by a thousand points. It's crazy. And you can like place it back on the top of your deck if you offer a monster as a tribute, which is really good. Um, oops. All right, so let's filter. We'll get that Axe of Despair to our main deck. <laughs> what is your question, Brody? Um, uh, let's see, and here I am actually going to send Buster Blader to our side deck for now, just because it's another two tribute monster. And I don't know if I am dying to have that right now, so we're gonna do that for now. Um, okay, okay, guys, I'm hoping with my newfound Axe of Despair, we can get revenge on Joey, because this is, it's getting ridiculous. Um, <laughs> the question you ask is Ziggy. I mean, Ziggy can be any and all things. Um, so we're gonna do one more uh, duel against Joey here. As you can see, we are one and four, which I despise. It is pathetic, um, but hopefully we can get that elusive second win this time. All right, let's do it. Come on now. Come on now. 
Let's do it. Let's flip and do it, man. Um, Alright. Um, giant soldier stone in defense. And a trap hole. I love that set. Love that setup. That is gorgeous. Trap hole is so nice because he has so, so many of those ridiculously strong four star monsters that can just get over anything. Um, it's truly annoying. But let's get uh, the Dark Witch in here. I'm also just gonna do this because he's probably gonna have like a goblin attack force or something that can just get over the giant soldier. And I wanna take the opportunity to do some life point damage while I can. Um, all right, that's looking fine to me. And maybe he'll play like an alligator sword and that we can easily defeat. Oh my gosh, what did I just say? Pro plays by me. Uh, okay, great. We're looking pretty here now. All right. Dude, <laughs> Ziggy is the axe. I mean, Ziggy is all powerful. It's true. Um, if Ziggy was a card, I'm pretty sure that it would give you uh, an extra thousand attack points. So things are going extraordinarily well so far. So far. But we got to get this second win. All right, Goblin Attack Force. Hmm. don't want to use Spellbinding Circle. I'm probably just going to have to sacrifice one of these cards. <laughs> That's true. Because Goblin Attack Force is going to go right into defense mode. And since it has zero defense, we can kill it pretty easily. Um... I like the idea of getting Summon Skull out on the field just in case he has another Goblin Attack Force. Um, because Beast of Gilfer could still get destroyed by a Goblin Attack Force. And I'm pretty sure he's got three in his deck. Because um, I don't know if I said that before, but there are some cards you can only have one of, like Raigeki or like... Uh, Dark Hole, which we hate. Oh, I'm actually gonna save that. Because I'm sure he'll have another strong monster that I can... <laughs> well, we'll see about that, uh, Brody. Hmm. And now I have nothing to play. Anyway, like I was saying, Dark Hole is a card that you can only have one of. And um, now I'm gonna use this. But there are other cards that you can have three of, like most regular four-star monster cards, for example. You can have three. Oh my gosh, guys. This is killing me. Okay, this is the magic card one. Oh yeah, I got rid of the trap card one. Ugh. 5k points. Congratulations, Brody. And there's the goblin. What does this do? Does it summon it to the field? Add them to your hand. I need to draw a monster card that I can play right now. Okay, I get another chance. All right. It's not my best, but it will do. It will do. And we gotta destroy this Goblin Attack Force. Spellbinding Circle makes it so Panther Warrior can't attack, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, and then we'll end my turn. Uh, let's see.
Guys, I need the heart of the cards to guide me here. I don't really have much I can do. Oh, that's brutal. Because Fisher destroys the monster on the field the lowest attack. And we would love to destroy the Summon Skull, but it would destroy Panther Warrior instead. Oh, boy. So let's do that for now. Try to protect our life points. All right, Joey, if you're gonna throw it all away for Time Wizard, please miss, please miss. Yes. <laughs> Woo, he basically threw the game. <laughs> that works for me. Um, that works for me. Uh, uh, okay, we'll play you. No. Oh. All right, please, just, just, just let me end this. Let me end this, please. Um. Hooray. I will say, we only won that duel because he decided to throw the fight. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. So it looks like we're going to have to fight Joey on another time and try to win honorably. Um, ooh, but that does let us get the Black Skull Dragon pack here, so let's give this a try. Ah! Oh, it's me! It's my card! I remember specifically they were kids that had this card on the playground, and they're just like, look, it's you! Ah, oh, Trent. It's not a very good card, but it is a Guardian of the Woods. This massive tree is believed to be immortal. It is that. <laughs> I'm a plant! It's true. Um, lovely. Ooh, this was a Weevil card. He used it to attack Joey's life points directly. Um, oh, and let's get our Duelist Weekly. Perfect. All right. Okay, folks. Um, I feel pretty good um, leaving it off here. This has been delightful. We were able to defeat two more ghouls, so we should only have one more left. Um, and after we do that, we will be able to uh, beat the game. So there might only be like one or two more Yu-Gi-Oh! streams, depending on how it goes. But um, thanks for being here tonight. This has been delightful. Um, I always enjoy my bi-weekly Yu-Gi-Oh! streams. And I will, I don't know what card, I'll, the next stream I'll start with um, putting a code card in, but I'll, I'll figure out what that is before we do that. Um, let's see. <laughs> okay, Wednesday, Trent the Plant. Oh, I will say, um, I don't think I'm going to be live Wednesday. Um, it's probably either going to be tomorrow or Friday um, that I am next live. Um, so yeah, but we won't worry too much about that right now. Um, I'll post it in the, in the Discord as usual. Anyway, thanks folks. Appreciate you. Have a great night. Have a great week and peace out.